Today's topic is about printing, in this case, digital printing. You might ask yourself why I'm standing in front of such a massive machine. The answer is quite easy. Digital printing to now is a rather slow process. The old machines are running perhaps three meters a minute, modern machines 20 meters, some even more, but in general it's rather slow. So the active weft straighteners with the bow and the skew rollers, they are sometimes really struggling with those slow machines due to the detection or due to the mechanics. This fellow over here though, he will solve this problem with bravoure. So this lesson today tells you a little bit more about the pinwheel straightness of Marlow. Let's jump right in. Hello and servus from Bavaria. Welcome to our webcast, also known as MCAST. If you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, this is the time and place to do so. My name is Stefan Keri. I'm responsible for the product management at Malo for the textile goods and also in the sales. Today's topic will be digital printing. How to secure a very complex application. Let's, in, let's look what, what, what's our agenda today. First of all, what matters? Then how to solve the dilemma with the quality, what modules can we offer? Then the different applications, we do have some examples. And then finally, once again, your advantages and your benefits. Let's jump right in. So before we start, what are your main issues with digital printing? What bothers you? What gives you headaches? If you leave us some comments down here, it would be highly appreciated. So what matters? Every excellent print requires an excellent preparation. That means if you don't have a good preparation, if you don't have a straight fabric, and then your print will also be distorted and um, it will be damaged. So the pattern and the weft need to be aligned after the printing. If you print straight on a skewed fabric, you will have a skewed print once the fabric is straightened. So this is something you have to avoid before printing. Our suggestion would be do it at the stander before the printing in a good way and then you have already made a very good start to really secure a proper printing. So many distortions though, they also happen at the inlet of the printing. So this is something you can avoid if you use also a very good straightener for printing, for digital printing, in the application of your digital printing line. Very often, I've been production manager myself for a long time, operators fail to have that look for straight fabric or for quality issues in general. And therefore, it is always good to have it in automized process. And um, with the common equipment, the, this task is not available. So you have to make sure that the fabric is really straight when it comes to the printing machine. Because after the printing, there's no way that you can correct it at all. That means that you need to have a specific straightening concept. Talking about quality and straightening and all the preparation things, once again, a question to you. Um, the quality demands in your environment, are they rising for digital prints? Are they stable or are they even going down because everybody's only looking for the price and nobody cares about the quality anymore? Just again, if you want, leave a comment down here in the section and um, we can perhaps start a conversation and discussion about it. 
So, our solution for a proper straightening within the um, digital printing is the pinwheel straightener. A uh, pinwheel straightener is stretching the fabric. We do have two pins, this is where the name comes from. And this pin is actually stretching the fabric and they are freely operable to each other. That means they are looking for the shortest distance to each other automatically because of the stretch and the shortest distance between two lines is always a straight line. And here we are. This is what we need. We need straight fabric. And this is what those pins are doing very, very um, successfully, even without any detection. And this is something that we can use for really nearly every fabric, which is not stretchable, not elastic. And um, therefore, this is actually how it looks like. Um, therefore, this machine will make sure that you always have a straight fabric before you go to the printing machine. So this is how it looks like. It doesn't need any detection. It is really perfect to realign also wavy distortions, so S distortions, dog legs. This is the solution. No other machine, no other weft straightener will be able to solve that problem except the pinwheel because it will always stretch even the waves, even the dog legs out of that fabric. Let's show you a little bit um, uh, video if it would work. Um, no, this is it's not the video. What is here? This is the video. So, ha, -ha. Um, get the popcorn ready. This is how it actually would look like. As you can see right now, not now, but now, now, you have a skewed fabric here. This skewed fabric will be quite visible just now. Um, here, you see the distortion is, is very obvious at this place and um, once goes through the pinwheels, it will be stretched, it will be oriented to each other, it will have that shortest distance to each other, it will have a straight line and this is what you see right here. No distortion anymore. No, that's not magic, this is a Marlow pinwell straightener. And this is also what we would actually recommend every time when it comes to the preparation of printed fabric especially for digital printing. So this is actually how it would look like before a stander or um, at a stander in um, the preparation for the printed fabric. As I said at the very beginning, this solution with the best available technology would be our recommendation uh, for, for you whenever it comes uh, to the preparation for printing. But if you think there is no way to get any better, there is. Because if perfect can get better, you have to go for the RFMB. Here we don't have only the pinwheel, we also have an active straightener underneath. So we have the best out of two worlds. The pinwheel straightening, which we call a passive straightening because the fabric is not really pushed into the position, it is looking for the position of its own, and the active straightening where we are doing the straightening by means of rollers, bow rollers and skew rollers. This is what Dr. Heinz Marlow invented some decades back. So here we have really the best out of two worlds and this will really beat everything that you have. This will make sure that you always have a perfectly straight fabric when it comes to the printing. This is how it would look like. On top you have that pinwheel, on bottom you have that active straightening, but in any case you have a straight fabric when it comes to the digital printing afterwards. So in this case and with this application you are absolutely secure in terms of the quality prior 
to the digital printing. And this is very important. I mean, just imagine where you are at that stage. You have already prepared the fabric um, for, for printed white. You, you have checked the absorbency. You have it already at a very, very high level of your value added chain. And after the printing, it has reached the highest level of this value added chain. There's so much money in it. There's so much time, so much machinery time. All that cost is in that fabric. You have to make sure that nothing goes wrong. So every time when something goes wrong, due to distorted fabric there, you are losing so much money. And this is why a proper weft straightener, a malo, here at that particular place always pays off. So once again, summarizing, the printing is the very end of this value-added chain. This is what I told you right now. You, help, you, you save a lot of money when you put the right machine at that space. The alignment of the fabric um, is sometimes centralized if you are looking at other printed goods. So here we are also having a solution. But very important for you is that with an increased right first time ratio, you improve the efficiency of your overall production as well. Because again, when something goes wrong, you have to make sure that this, uh, this fabric goes back. And it is a lot of hustle besides the money and you save uh, a lot of problems if you are doing it right first time. The good thing here as well, it's coming in a modular assembly. So you can start putting that machine into your line today. Just give us a call. So thank you again for your valuable time. If you haven't subscribed yet to our YouTube channel, please do so. If you want to have any other information, just look at our website. There we have all the YouTube channels in one uh, very good overview and you can check through every single one of them. If you have a question about this particular YouTube channel, you also can contact me at stefan.keri at malo.com. Thank you once again for your time. It was a pleasure having you here and um, have a secure production and a nice Good day. Bye-bye.